Hey, it's Ed Paget here from edpaget.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to move the pelvis in these, move, in these figure eight movements, which we discussed in part one, with moving the legs at the same time. Okay? So what we've got here is we're going to step forward with the left leg, and we're also going to step backwards with the left leg. Okay? So just get, get used to that movement. So standing on your right foot, for example, you can just mirror me. Stepping forwards and backwards with the legs. Super simple. It's literally just a little lunge forward, and a little movement backwards. You can see my pelvis is moving slightly forwards and backwards as well as I do this. So I'm pressing back here to get a bit of a hamstring stretch and pressing forward here to get a bit of a front hip stretch. All right, now we're gonna bring, bring in the lunge movements. So we're gonna step forward and I'm gonna go out to the left. I'm gonna move my hips around in a circle, okay? So we'll do that again. Step forward, move the hips around to the left, bring them around in the circle back to the middle. As you step backwards, you're now going to move them back into the opposite part of the circle, okay? So it's like I've got that figure of eight going. So it's here and round, back and round. Good, and again, forward and round, back and round. Now you'll notice I'm going out to the side here, and then I'm going out to the side here. All right, so that's the first movement. Second movement is going to be Moving to the inside, so I step forward, move my pelvis to the inside, back round, step back, move my pelvis to the inside, and back round. So we're going this way first, and round, and this way first. That's it. Now let's see if we can get a bit of breathing involved. So deep breath in, deep breath out. So breathe in on one circle. Breathe out on the other circle. Perfect, okay, well done. Now we're gonna move the other leg. So you step forward, we're gonna move this one out into a circle here, and then we're gonna step backwards, and we're gonna move this one out into a circle. So we're gonna go, the hip goes out to start with here. Good. 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 Nice. This one here, you can really push the hip out and lean forwards. So I'll show you here. So I'm pushing the hip out, I'm leaning forwards, I'm getting a hamstring stretch on my opposite leg. And you come forward, push it out here, good, backwards and here. Next movement is to not go out, but to go in. So I'm following the circle around this way. That's good. Then I come back, follow the circle around this way. Come back here. I didn't move my leg on that first one. There we go. So in, in around, in around. Good. So stepping forward, in and round. Stepping back, in and round. Some of these movements will be a little awkward when you first do them, but they'll start to make sense after a while. And sometimes you'll find that one side of your body doesn't like to move like the other side. Certainly the case in with me, one hip that doesn't like to move like the other, so I'm giggling to myself on this one, because I can't quite get that movement in. My hip it needs to be worked in this area, which is why I put together these movements. Okay, this is really good. Next part is gonna be moving the legs to, to the one step in front of the other, and then stepping out. Step in front of the other, and then stepping out. And to have that figure of eight going this way, and then this way, okay? So mirror me, I'm gonna step out like this, bend the leg that's moved, keep the other one relatively straight, and then move into a circle here, then come back, circle here. So you're gonna feel stuff in the left leg here on this movement, strange enough, that's this one. And then you're gonna feel stuff on the outside of the left leg here. Okay, good. Keep going with this, so forwards, movements. Good, so we're working on balance here, coordination. You'll see I can step relatively quickly because this is a movement I've practiced. Okay, and I'm taking the movement forward. The circle goes forward to start with. Good, now we're gonna change that though we take the circle to go backwards. So it goes around this way, good. Circle here, back to the middle, crosses through the midline, 
comes back, circle here, excellent. So we're going backwards, good, backwards, nice one. Backwards, backwards, good. Really use the hands here to guide you, good. Same thing on the other leg. So we'll start with, the, with taking the hands forwards and the hips go forwards, good. Now the more you practice this, the more you're going to get into the kind of the rhythm of it and the breath work behind it. But this is really just an introduction to the gross movements. Good. Now we're going to go backwards. So I'm out to the side, hip goes backwards around that circle, across, backwards around in the circle. Excellent. Backwards around. Good. Okay, a couple more here. You should feel your hips begin to wake up. A little bit of extra movement in them. Nice work. Okay, last one. I want you to imagine you're standing on a line and uh, there's some degrees written on that line, okay? So you've got 90 degrees out this way and then in between 90 and behind you is 45 degrees. I want you to step to 45 degrees. Now, my heels are not staying in line. I'm actually kind of, imagine there's a, a clock, um, hand of a clock coming out from the bottom of that heel. I'm stepping along that one, okay? So I'm stepping along here. I'm getting a little lunge into my hips. There's gonna be a figure of eight here, a circle here. And then I'm gonna step back, cross my feet at 90 degrees, and I'm gonna do a circle here, all right? So let's start with this one. We're gonna open up to that 45 degrees. My foot's pointing this way and I'm gonna go out to the outside. So to pushing to the, my, in my case, the right-hand side. So moving into a circle here, coming back into neutral, and then I'm gonna move into the opposite type of circle here. So I've still got that affinity sign going, but it's a little kind of smaller on one side. That's the bigger loop. This is the smaller loop. That's it. A couple more here, and then we'll reverse direction. Good. So that was me going outside to start with. Now we're going to go to the inside. So I step, move the hip forwards this way, round, back, forwards towards you, round and back. That's it. Forwards this way, round, back. And I'm following it up and through and round. Now this is by far the hardest exercise of them all, okay? Because it involves a lot of coordination and a lot of movement through the hips that you don't normally get. But this rotation is what's key in keeping the hip healthy, okay? The, uh, the more we age or the more arthritis we have in the hips, the less rotation we have. It's the rotation is the first movement that goes. So bringing that back through movements like this is gonna keep those hips healthy. Okay, second side now. By stepping out, pointing that foot 45 degrees, and we're gonna take the foot, the hips for me. I'm gonna go backwards with my butt first and round. I view this as the center, and I'm gonna go butt and round. That's good. All right, maybe that was a little quick for some of you. <laughs> Slow it down just a touch, but you get the idea, good. Now we're gonna go the other way. So rather than going backwards, I've now got my circle going sort of forwards is the relative term. Good. Forwards for me. And then here, I imagine it's coming forwards, going round and back. Excellent, okay, stop there. So you should feel a lot of movement in those hips. So feel nice and open now, a bit more relaxed. Now, how long you can do this for is up to you. You can do it for a time, like five minutes in each, each movement. That'll be a 15 minute Qigong exercise on just your hips. Or you can do it for a number of reps, it's up to you. Getting the breath work is quite important. So breathing in on one circle, breathing out on another circle, breathing in, breathing out, that can be really useful. 
And we've got to build on those movements. We've got the thorax to take through these movements and we've got the, the head and neck and nose to take through these movements. So watch, wait for those in some other videos. And then we're gonna build the whole thing together where we go hips, thorax, nose into a complete Western Qigong sort of what we call it, the body energizing matrix. Hey, if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can be up to date when I, when I upload a video and you won't miss anything. All right, take care.